In this video, I will be talking about natal moon and Sagittarius in the 11th house and what this placement means for you if you have it in your chart. So if you have this placement, you are in the right place. With that being said, what the moon represents is it represents our emotional needs and uh, internal or private aspect of our personalities that people only really get to see when they know us on a personal level and when they understand us on an emotional operating level. And sometimes this can be a more mysterious or secretive part because the moon is about secrets and it rules the fourth house, which is all about privacy and, you know, deep sense of self. It's about our inner selves. So sometimes people can even be out of touch with their own moon sign. They may not even be emotionally self-aware. Um, but when the moon is in Sagittarius, which is all about beliefs, inspiration and sense of direction, uh, this shows somebody that has an emotional need to feel inspired in order to feel at their best. Because the, the moon shows our emotional and mental well-being. Um, so oftentimes, moon and Sagittarius show somebody that needs something to believe in in order to feel you know, well. And they need something to inspire them because on an emotional level, they are quite inspired people. And they're also philosophical in nature. They like to consider the truth of life and they have a strong sense of morality or conviction and certain beliefs. Um, and Sagittarius is all about right from wrong. It's all about truth. Um, so they are emotionally attached to some sort of conviction or morality or uh, knowledge that they have. Um, and they have this need to have a sense of direction. Um, and generally speaking, these individuals like to operate on faith and they like to act first and think later. They don't... They, they feel most comfortable in situations where they don't have to think as much. And that's because Sagittarius is the opposing sign from the sign of thinking, which is about Gemini. Um, Sagittarius is about wisdom and it's about learning from experience. So a lot of times these people need to experience things for themselves and, and learn that way. Um, and they don't like to be controlled because Sagittarius is all about freedom and expansion. Um, it, it generally also shows somebody that is wise when, when the moon is in the sign Sagittarius. Somebody that possesses knowledge. Now, the 11th house is all about autonomy and freedom as well because it rules Aquarius. And Aquarius is about the future. It's about ideals uh, for humanity. Uh, and it's about the things that we participate in or the things that we are part of. So when the moon is in Sagittarius in the 11th house, this automatically shows me somebody that has an emotional need for autonomy and freedom in some sense. But at times, they are a bit noncommittal and detached, too. So that could be the, ne the negative aspect of that. Um, and also see somebody that's very self-reliant and inventive as well. They have a lot of progressive convictions or convictions about the future because the sign Aquarius and the 11th house are having to do with the future. So next, since the 11th house is about groups, friends, and you know, it can be basically summarized to like the things that we are part of, anything that we participate in, even on an intellectual level, because sometimes I think a way of thinking can be a, a, a group think or a way or like it could be something that we participate in. And, you know, the 11th house has to do with our individuality. So what makes us unique is the things that we choose to participate in, in the way that we choose to dress and the, the people that we choose to surround ourselves all that kind of makes up our, our individuality. It's really about, you know, which boxes or groups that we fit into. And that's really what the 11th house can be summarized as. It's just really the things that we participate in. Because, you know, you'll hear every astrologer say and tell you that the 11th house is about friends and groups. And, and so, yeah, that's the reason why. Because it's about participation. And it's all about the collective. So, first of all, they show somebody that cares about the collective or cares about humanitarian principles or moral codes. And they have, you know, strong convictions about common decency or justice. But um, also, since it's about participation, the other thing I wanted to say is that this placement shows somebody that has the need to be a part of something that they believe in. Because Sagittarius is about belief and the 11th house is about the things that we are part of. So they either have this need to be a part of something they believe in or they are part of a group that is center, centered around a certain belief or sense of direction or with similar philosophical ideals or opinions. Um, 
generally speaking, people with the moon in Sagittarius in the 11th house will be friendly people and they're comfortable around strange around strangers or like they're comfortable meeting new people because the 11th house is about strangers um and so these people are comfortable and inspired by situations where they are interacting with new people and they are passionate about networking as well because the 11th house is about our network and it's really about interconnectedness it's how we're connected to the collective and Oftentimes, it is having to do with things such as the internet. So another thing about this placement, which is random, is that there's some space on the internet, some site, some community that that gives you a lot of sense of direction that you're a part of or like that you sometimes tune into or that you lurk on that page or on that um, certain community if you're not actively participating in it. Because the 11th house is about how we connect and it's about the internet. So a lot of times this placement will manifest that for people. Um, that that have it so um with that being said uh, the next thing about this placement is that they care about the collective or the group or certain humanitarian moral codes um, and justice especially they don't like injustice and they're very logically minded they have a lot of logical convictions and they really think about the future uh, as well like these people could be people that believe they know what the future is going to be like or they just naturally are wise and they just naturally get realizations about, you know, what what the future needs. And, you know, they're very passionate about making changes in the world and, and like, you know, making progress because they're kind of more advanced in a way in terms of their philosophy. And like they're more awake in a sense. So ultimately, you know, how I would summarize this placement is since the moon is about emotional needs and when i see it in sagittarius in the 11th house this shows to me somebody that has the need for autonomy and freedom um and also that is self-reliant and inventive um and ultimately though it shows the need for a purpose like that's the main thing about this placement that will resonate with all these individuals is that they have a strong need for a purpose and you know it becomes a aspect of their life decisions of course, everybody wants a purpose. Everybody needs to feel a sense of purpose, but these people will actively, you know, seek that and they will have a sense of purpose more strongly um, as opposed to, you know, other moon signs or other random, you know, individuals, you know. So with that being said, I hope that this video was insightful and that you guys enjoyed. So if you liked this video, then like this video. And subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content. Um, with that being said, if you would like a natal chart reading where I cover each of your placements and your general personality, as well as your talents and career um, and your life purpose or destiny based on the North Node, as well as your other placements um, in a personalized video format, then check the link in my description to my Patreon. I also have an email in my description if you'd like to contact me that way. So with that all being covered and talked about, I appreciate um, you guys watching and supporting in any way that you do. And I will talk to you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.